Watch, watch the glass. What, and now look at the metal, the steel. Just <laughs> That's incredible, isn't it? Showing you that the, the music that um, certain people listen to make them all act and think and move in the same way. So all heavy metal, you know, listeners, they all seem to have that kind of hunched over, that kind of uh, slouchy walk, yeah, because the music is in training them to be like that. Some of you might have heard about this that. Uh, the, all the music, all the music in the world has now been changed over. The frequencies of the music have been changed over from 432 hertz for middle A to 440 hertz. Now, that doesn't sound like um, an awful lot of difference. But as you can see here, the, the pattern on 432 is a very nice harmonious kind of pattern there. And the one for 440 is dissonant. It's just a kind of mess. In 1939, there was military c 
acoustic warfare research. And they were, they were investigating how sound, um, particularly music, would affect people. And they discovered that by shifting the frequencies over just a little bit, it would induce hysteria. People are now asking, is, was there a more sinister reason for the change, since a number of researchers have stated that people feel differently under the long-term influence of music and broadcasts at 440 hertz than they actually do at the natural organic broadcast of 432 hertz? People bind themselves to music as frequency programming. Music is frequency. What fre frequency are you being fed? I will hope, I will hope before they go pull some negative shit out this conversation. They go pull, they pull this part, this part of the conversation. And then see that I'm really, really actually helping people, bro. I'm got, like, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me be detailed. At 15 years old, I was doing, um, sound engineering. So I was playing with frequency. I was playing with equalizers. Now, I basically, I figured, I figured out that hertz is to understand the frequency vibration, right? So there's kilohertz, well sorry, there's hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, right? And then there's, I think it's ultrahertz. If I play with those frequencies, right, I can target certain parts of the mind, target the frequency to go to certain parts of the mind, and I can literally, like, if I want you to astral project, right? You know what astral projection is? Yeah. If, I want you to astral, if I want you to astral project, or if I want you to go to sleep, or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. Make my music do that. Say, is you go to a concert. At that concert, you drunk as hell, you drunk, all type of shit, you with a whole bunch of people. Y'all in the concert, y'all lit as fuck, y'all having the funnest time of y'all life. Little do y'all know, y'all are surrounded by nothing but bad, dark energy. Most of the music that you listen to, you could be in a car on your way to work, just having a regular nice day, and you turn on the music, and out of nowhere, you start feeling moody you start feeling depressed and it's not the music it's not the artist it's the frequency that they playing the music on so you have 432 frequency look it up on youtube bro look it up right now when y'all done with this video 432 hertz versus 440 hertz now you can listen to old town road right say busy you listening to old town road on the radio you can feel perfectly fine while listening to it but say business you put that same old town road under 440 hertz frequency, you can't, you don't notice the frequency. You just notice your body changing. You notice you starting to get depressed, moody, anxiety. You start feeling weird. You just, your day seems fucked up for no reason. It's the frequency that you playing.